Safety and transportation has been a concern since long before automobiles were invented. Even well-trained horses were known to exhibit unintended acceleration and other misbehaviors from time to time, much to the dismay of their riders. Anna Maria Hudeliak is an expert in automotive functional safety, making sure the electronics in modern vehicles don't misbehave, and she's here to address the challenges automotive designers face and how to solve them. Welcome to Tech Chats, Anna Maria. Hello, Chris. Good to find you, and thank you a lot for inviting us to your Tech Chat. Of course, and I think it would be helpful to understand your role at NXP. Sure, gladly. So, um, uh, as, uh, as you introduced myself very nicely, at NXP, what I do is to support, organize, and perform the independence assessments and the confirmation reviews for our functional safety software products. I also manage, support, and contribute to the continuous improvement of the functional safety development process, and I lead the competence management for functional safety. Today, we will talk about the challenges which automotive market currently faces and how do we contribute to their solution with our products, community of experts, and training opportunities. Now, you mentioned training opportunities, and I think the NXP Safety Academy is a really great program, and I'm excited to get to that. But before we do, can you tell us a bit about functional safety and why it's important? Sure. So as we all noticed, the complexity of electronics in road vehicles increased big time in the last years. The vehicles are not anymore essentially mechanical machines, but electronically controlled systems. You may have experienced features like adaptive cruise control, collision avoidance system, or automatic parking. The advanced driving assistance applications require environment recognition based on processing of data from radar, lidar, camera, and sensor fusion, which is very computationally intensive and requires support of advanced process nodes to meet the performance demands. The malfunctioning of these electronic systems can lead to physical injuries of the driver or passengers, and furthermore, to product liability and legal consequences. In this respect, functional safety is a fundamental requirement in the automotive systems to guarantee a tolerable level of risk. It is visible then that automotive safety and security are essential for market acceptance of future mobility trends. In this respect, NXP is leading the transformation towards safe and securely connected mobility, enabling car makers to develop smarter solutions for the assisted and autonomous driving connectivity, and electrification challenges. The need for functional safety is prevalent and is a critical requirement in these domains for obvious reasons. NXP is well positioned to address these needs as the safety and security culture is deeply embedded within the company with the mantra of zero accidents due to system failures. As such, we implement industry-leading practices complemented with our knowledge of the design and development process to deliver state-of-the-art solutions. And what exactly are those solutions? What we offer is a solution portfolio, so not isolated products, but comprehensive system solutions for fast time to market and scalability. We focus on in-house performance, processing, security, and mobile ecosystem capabilities. All these contribute to our vision, zero emissions, zero accidents, and zero time wasted. To enable the product development according to the functional safety standard for road vehicles, we put first in place an internal development process. Our internal process was certified by TUFSUIT as compliant with ISO 26262. The NXP safety products are designed as safety elements out of context, prepared to fit into a range of systems. All our safety-ready products are included in our NXP Safer Sure program, where the customers can access also the associated deliverables to ease the integration on the customer side. Okay, at a high level, what is ISO 26262? First, we want to bring up the V model and the responsibility. Following ISO 26262 provides evidence that the products are developed free of unacceptable risks and using a state-of-the-art process. As a part of the safety life cycle, everyone in the supply chain is responsible for implementing functional safety in compliance with ISO 26262. For Tier 1 and Tier 2 suppliers, it is a common practice to provide safety-related elements that can be reused by multiple applications and by, and by multiple customers. These safety-related elements are included in ISO 26262 safety life cycle, as I said before, as safety elements out of context. 
Now, what does that all mean in terms of products and what do designers need to look for? Our product portfolio is adapted for the five main domain-based vehicle architectures, connectivity, ADAS and highly automated driving, powertrain and vehicle dynamics, body and comfort, and infotainment and vehicle experience. In this way, the NXP domain-based architectures group together the functions that let the car sense, think, and act to manage complexity and separate concerns related to security, upgradability, and functional safety. As you see here in this table, our products have different integrity levels assigned, starting from the quality managed and going into the ASIL A's, B's, C's, and even D's. For each domain, you can find a variety of components ranging from microcontrollers and processors, power management ICs, sensors and transceivers, analog front-end components, and in-vehicle ICs. With our attached strategy, we offer in our portfolio different components which fit together. As for example, for the connectivity domain, appropriate also as a central gateway, our S32G microcontroller works together with the VR5510 power management IC, with the MR3003 transceiver, and with the SGA1105 in-vehicle networking IC. The slide you showed earlier with the V model referenced hardware and software. So what kind of software do you have and how do developers leverage that? In our software product portfolio, we have the AutoSAR MCAL ready to be integrated in systems up to a d It offers a set of load-level drivers, abstracting the hardware peripherals to a standard interface for real-time target applications from all application domains for multiple AutoSAR versions. Moreover, we have the safety software framework, which is a set of software components which establish the safety foundations for the automotive applications running on the S32 platform devices. And last but not least, we have the structural core self-test library for the MCUs, which do not have lockstep mechanisms, and the safety by software, which is a collection of software components that consists mainly of a software interface for the safety by software IP, a firmware implementation for the Time Multi Watchdog processor, which is usually executed on the safety core of each platform, and the associated driver. For more information, please check out our entire Safe Assure catalog, nxp.com slash functional safety. Uh, a couple of times now you've mentioned the term safety element out of context. What does that mean? The, what we do are the safety elements out of context because our products are not made for one vehicle. By developing it as safety element out of context, the customer can decide in which system and then in which vehicle our products will be integrated. We still take some assumptions for the system. As I put it here, we have in our product portfolio these five big domain-based architectures in our minds. So we have products which are suitable, which are a good fit for the connectivity, for central gateways, for V2X, and so on. Then we have products which are suitable for the powertrain and vehicle dynamics. This means we, we make some assumptions for the system, but our products are not in the context of the vehicle. Thanks for clearing that up for me. Now, what's special about the Safe Assure program? With the Safe Assure program, we simplify the customer experience with our ISO 26262 system compliance process. We contribute to the customer R&D efficiency by reducing the time and complexity required to develop ISO 26262 safety compliance systems. We also reduce the risk of harm by supporting the most stringent ACLs and put safety and quality first with our zero defect methodology from design to manufacturing to help ensure our products meet the stringent demands of safety applications. Now, what about your community resources and safety academy? The safety community comprises of three pillars. The community itself is a public space for knowledge distribution and industry-wide news. The Safe Assure NDA, a private non-disclosure agreement space for customers to access the safety documentation and the support group where we have our safety experts, managers, architects, and field and application engineers. In this manner, the community users find answers to their questions on safety documentation requests. We talked about process, compliance, and community experts. But how did we manage to have all these aspects in place and to improve them continuously? The foundation for all is the safety culture. What is a safety culture? 
As the Occupational Safety and Health Administration defines it, the safety culture consists of shared beliefs, practices, and attitudes that exist at an establishment. Culture is the atmosphere created by those beliefs and attitudes which shapes our behavior. To achieve this, the functional safety needs to be seen as an overall company objective. Specific policies and processes have to be deployed, and the clear defined authority of the responsible parties, together with the escalation process, have to be put in place. It means that the roles, skills, and training opportunities have a crucial impact. When we talk about competence management, we usually have in mind two big aspects. One is the definition of the roles together with the expected skills. And the second one consists in the development paths with the associated training opportunities. In this sense, we worked on developing both internal and public training programs. As internal opportunities, we have the standard training library, an online training program, and also a classroom-based training called Safety School. As a public training opportunity, we recently introduced the Safety Academy, an online training content for the mass market. So can you talk about some of those different uh, safety roles and skills and the training that you offer? Yes, gladly. So concerning the functional safety roles and skills, we have defined internally four functional safety roles. The project functional safety architect, the functional safety manager at project and organization level, and the functional safety assessor. Also, we taught at three skills. One, for the knowledge of the ISO 26262, one for the safety analysis methods, and one for the safety requirements and concept definition. Each skill has three expertise levels, from basic know-how to average and expert. Having this defined, the people need to know how these skills can be achieved of course, with both training and hands-on experience. While the trainings can be done in a centralized manner, the hands-on experiences are closely related to the business line and to the projects where the people work. Our internal training offering consists of two programs, one online and one classroom-based, as I mentioned before. The standard training library is the online program and contains 25 modules focused on the different aspects of the functional safety. We have defined seven training paths and each has associated some mandatory and some optional training modules to match their needs. Because we believe in developing a culture of safety conscious engineers, we created also the safety school, which helped create a core network of highly trained and expert individuals, not only for safety management and safety architecture, but for all the people deeply engaged in safety-related product development. The training program is spread over five weeks of training and covers in detail the ISO 26262 standard in the first week, how it is applied in our company, which tailoring and process do we have in the second week, and then in the third one, we present the safety concept and architectures of our devices so that we prepare the foundation for the, for the fourth week when we discuss the safety analysis and the safety assessments. The fifth week concludes with, the, with training and workshop, special design for the management and leadership skills. Now, my experience with ISO standards is that they usually put me to sleep the first hundred times I try to read through them. So I'm really curious about your safety academy and how you get engineers the information they need to do their job. That's the NXP Online Safety Academy. With this academy, we deliver functional safety training to our customers. It is conducted online and built in a modular manner. It offers four different curriculum paths tailored to the specific needs of program managers, software, hardware, and system engineers. Each path is composed of modules, either short videos or webinars. The two modules which focus on the standard are rather, rather high level. The point is to map this with uh, our product and to, to make it clear uh, why it's so important that we give also the safety documentation with the hardware piece or with the software product. Because uh, you can have it there and you can have all the architecture measures inside. But if, if you cannot prove that the development was free of risk, then you will have to test it from zero, so to say. Also, a little to educate the, the customers that what we give is to help them and to indeed to reduce those development times. That's the goal of this, of this academy. 
the webinars are first broadcasted live and then available on demand on a dedicated landing page on our nxp.com slash safety academy page. The webinars are free of charge. So we encourage you all to enroll in our NXP Online Safety Academy to learn how to use the NXP safety products to simplify the process of ISO 26262 compliance for you and reduce development time without compromising on safety and increasing the efficiency of your organization. The program manager path addresses all team members involved in a safety-related project. It explains how NXP's safe assure products and deliverables can be used to facilitate and accelerate the process of ISO 26262 system compliance for you. The hardware and software paths explain the ISO 26262 hardware and software development processes and methodologies. You will also learn how NXP safety hardware, software, tools, and safety documentation can help you to reduce the implementation complexity of your safety projects. The system engineer path builds on the foundations for the hardware and software paths and explains how NXP Safe Assure solutions developed as safety elements out of context can be tailored and integrated into your own safety system design. As such, NXP's Online Safety Academy helps you to discover how the NXP Safe Assure program enables you to achieve a faster time to market to learn how to integrate the NXP safety products into your system solution and safety development lifecycle, and to learn the ISO 26262 details, which you need according to your role, position, or technical background. So don't hesitate. Enroll today in NXP's Online Safety Academy. And one last question. Earlier, you alluded to NXP's Vision Zero. What is that? Vision Zero is an industry commitment to reducing fatalities on the roads. NXP firmly believes that we should target zero accidents. Our deeply engraved safety culture demonstrates how important this is to us. We are contributing to make the Vision Zero a reality by designing our product as a good match for the three big domains, ADAS, highly automated driving and fully autonomous vehicles, electric cars and connectivity. By this, we mean vehicles to vehicles and vehicles to everything. Thank you, Anna Maria, and thanks to your colleagues at NXP for what you're all doing to make it easier for designers to bring new functionality into vehicles while also improving safety. If you'd like to learn more about NXP's Safety Academy and the hardware and software solutions in the SafeAssure program, visit mauser.com and be sure to check back soon for the next episode of Tech Chats. 